Using immersive gameplay, healthcare workers have now another avenue to test out medical decisions without compromising the safety of their patients. Launched today, it aims to hone their skills when handling situations such as cardiac arrest or septic shock. Shalin Sia reports. <laughs> In this simulated scene, someone has fainted in a shopping mall. The user now has to decide what to do next. So you have to check for response, which is, hello, hello, are you okay? All these are the key things that the healthcare worker needs to know in handling a person who is collapsed. This game is one of 18 programs that Singh Health and Duke NUS's new training hub office. It was developed in-house using real-life situations and professional expertise. This year, it will be incorporated into its basic cardiac life support certification course, training up to 5,000 healthcare workers yearly. It's also hoped that in-person training time could be reduced by up to 25%. I think we can all remember as doctors the first time we ever had to do a CPR on a real patient. This is a, a journey that all of us have to go through and hopefully with serious games, better augmented reality, we can all get past this learning curve much more quickly and build the next generation of doctors with a lot more confidence. Having access to such tools means medical workers can take ownership of their learning. When faced with certain medical situations, they get to put their decisions to the test and receive real-time feedback. I'm here right now in this VR room where junior doctors will be trained on what to do when they meet a sick patient. So Dr. E, could you tell me what I'm looking at right now and what I should do? Okay, so currently you are in uh, the room of this patient. She is not well, her blood pressure is low, and you as a doctor, you need to actually figure out uh, what is going on with her. You can walk right up to the patient. Yes, you can go closer, and you can actually shine the torchlight at her eyes. We also do debriefing after the games, and this is an important reflection stage. We will see what are the learning points that we've taken away from the game. And that's where most learning is found to happen as well. They actually translate the game experience into the real clinical environment that the learner usually will work in as well. The hub also provides a space for the research and development of more games, and some are already underway, involving situations like blood transfusions or disaster management. 